very often I do my work and there's always somebody who think they have some knowledge about what they're doing and they always come with their comments talking about what they think things are and you know what rates should be from what rates are not. I have also been in situations where persons would have said your bill of quantity is wrong and another quantity surveyor says this. Mark you, I'm not a quantity surveyor. But they would say a quantity surveyor told me that the project the cost of this project is a particular price. So People that know me know that I'm a very competitive person. I don't just take information and run with them. And if you challenge me, I am going to put up resistance because I don't just deal with easy talking points and information that are not validated. So my challenge that I often give is that if you're going to say my information is wrong, I don't have a problem. But the type of proof that I ask for in many of my videos is similar to this chart that I have on display. And that is, if my information is wrong and you can do a BQ report and it's going to show better numbers than I am showing, then I would want you to work out this little maze for me. It's a little chart, but I'll call it a little maze. And that is, based on your report that you do, your bill of quantity or whatever report that you are presenting to your customer, which would contradict that what I am presenting, specify all of these items that we have here. That is, from your total report, because I'm going to put myself in the case of a contractor. If I'm a contractor and I come to you and you have done a bit of quantity for me, which is this particular item, can you, as a person who have done the report, provide me with a list of materials which are required and a rate that goes with those materials? So can you provide these two things to me? Likewise, can you give me a breakdown for the quantity of work and the rates that is expected to go with the labor? After that, I need some information about the manual equipment that I'm going to need. Likewise, the mechanical equipment, which are things like heavy duty machinery, such as trucks, backhoes, excavators, generators, and etc. So after working out that, identify the insurance value that would go with the project, the gross profit, which the contractor or the construction company is supposed to make. The taxes can then be arrived at from the contractor knowing their gross profit and then you can have a net profit to say at the end of doing a particular project you are going to make a dollar so if you cannot match up to this level of information don't come around with minute information to give the impression that you know something that you don't you have ideas many times that's what happened with many persons who are in construction or know minute things about construction is that they will know a part of the work and they give the impression that they know it all there's many technical things related to a project. So you can look like you're right at a particular point and then you end up looking wrong in the long term. So for instance, I would have done this, you know, little bill of quantity because I'm assisting a particular customer. And I'm going to put some rates in these sections and persons are going to usually, you know, run up and say this rate is too high or this rate is too low and, you know, what they think. I'm not dealing with assumption. I am dealing with calculations. And if you want to talk at the level that I am talking, regardless of you having maybe even a bigger degree than I do, is that you have to demonstrate that you know it in depth. I am not going to take the fact that, hey, you know, I have a degree in X and I worked on five or six projects and etc. If you are going to say to me that I am misleading someone or, you know, figures are too high or low, you have to be able to specify these information to make a case and I'm willing to listen but no little regular person who is trying to think is not going to come running up on me and giving the impression that they know so much just because they have a title or some piece of paper this is construction related activities you can have qualifications on paper and you also can have information from experience now I do not have the big paper but I am going to beat you an experience at any point so for 2024, I'm going to be jumping into what a lot of persons want me to jump in as it relates to what rates should apply to certain projects. And I'm going to make my recommendations. And I look forward to the persons who are going to come running to say what rate is too high or too low. But with that, I would ask any of those persons, let it be known that this is what is always going to be thrown up first. If there is even a case where there is not a bit of quantity, you must be able to validate these 
and say to me whether or not you see how a contractor can make a profit or how a customer can make a savings before I can take you seriously.